Hey, we're back again, the Coon Parade Ramblers, rambling along. Back in the saddle again. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, we got some tall tales we've been hearing here. From our new guest? Yeah. Mr. Jared Dariso. You call them tall tales. I call them fairly accurate depictions of what oh, not fit truth. Okay, let me hear. Well, not fish tales. It depends on how you tell, yeah. spell tales, so fish tales. Well, yeah, either or. You say you caught some serious fish in your lifetime. I have. Where I at? Mean, in what, salt or freshwater? I've had the best water, best luck in salt water because there's That's bigger the big fish out there. <laughs> That's right. More water, more fish. Yeah. Bigger fish to fry. But huh. if you can catch you a good sized bass in a pond, I think that's worth more than getting a uh, getting a good dolphin out in salt water. Salt water is more fun, but if you get a good bass yeah. in a small pond, a that's dolphin. hard to do. You caught a dolphin in the ocean. Now, yes, I, I, uh, I have to let you know. Not the he, porpoise, he, not the I'm, one that looks I'm like a porpoise. Yeah, I'm not a fisherman. <laughs> I'm talking about the flat looking ones. I I I, I, uh, I don't mind going fishing, but I I usually just prefer it's like a blunt nose colored fish yes oh a colored fish it's like yep. it's like a rainbow it's rainbow. a lot of yellow and blue yep. and all the other colors do you eat them yes they I are sure awesome. do. Oh. very good fry. how big uh you can did one you caught the ones how many have you caught well it, it didn't quite fit in the boat um that's a serious dolphin we had to drag it back <laughs> Right. That's not like that. <laughs> if you're big enough, you could just drag you back. Huh? I think the biggest one I ever caught was probably a 40, 40 that's incher. That's like Hemingway's Old Man in the Sea. Yeah, that's to the middle of the to the inside of the fork. That's how you gotta measure them, nose to fork. Forty inches. And that was bigger than your boat. Well, I was. What were you out there boating around in? <laughs> it took you all day to catch them. Yeah. 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 Well, everybody. Well. That's the biggest one I caught. There was other yeah. people out there getting the bulls, getting the big ones, the mm. ones that. Make your What's daggum. The key? How do you go from the what you caught to the big ones? Well, there's some different styles of um, your rig on your pole makes a big difference on how big a one you're going to catch or what kind you're going to catch. Yeah. Whether you got to walk the dog or a sinker or just some just some shrimp or some shiners on the I think line. That's talking Greek to me. Walk the dog. <laughs> you go fishing in the Gulf or in the uh, Atlantic or where? Gulf. In yeah. the Gulf. Well, yeah, pretty much. He prefer Dolphin. salt water over the fresh water? No, he said he said he would just as soon catch a big bass in fresh water as opposed to as opposed to a um a good salt water fish because yeah. anybody uh, well not anybody let me phrase that uh, most I, people I couldn't do it I couldn't do it most people I other don't than catch <laughs> fish and I don't I don't buy lottery tickets because I don't buy lottery tickets because I I will lose every time okay. Yeah. Well, I have I've won every single lottery ticket I've ever gotten. Because I've never gotten one. Oh, so I mean, I can't yeah. lose there. You're a good man. You're a good man. Save that money. But a good yeah. a good bass is is I think better than a than a okay saltwater fish because yeah. anybody can catch an okay saltwater fish, but you get you yeah. a good bass out of a pond that <laughs> I mean that's something that I think brag about. I mean it's pretty good. You ever caught any you had mounted? No. No. Yeah, they, a lot of people like to do that with a big bag. They if if they're pretty enough wall. to be mounted, I'm just going to leave him there. Yeah. I know where he is. He's not going anywhere. Saltwater, <laughs> he's going home. <laughs> Come back and catch him again. Do you consider yourself a fisherman? I mean, a, a fisherman? That is, that's a pretty strong title. Hmm. Um, yeah. I, I would call myself a... Uh, Are you a novice? An enthusiast. Novice, yes. A fishing yes. enthusiast. enthusiast. Yeah. That's yes. the way to put it right there. Now, you want to talk about a tender meat? Yeah. Uh, nurse shark. Nurse shark. Oh, man, they got some tender meat. How do you know if they're a nurse shark? They wear the little hats with the red cross on them? I've never <laughs> seen a Mr. nurse shark Mr. before. Mr. Jared, next exactly. time you catch a nurse shark, would you share it with me? Because uh, I don't think I've ever I had it. A nurse I did. I yeah. had a shark, but I had it in a restaurant. Never had it. It's hard to get you one that wild. fits into the slot sizes because they you get one too short, you can get in a lot of trouble. Oh, but if oh, you yeah. get a good one. Yeah. That is the most tender meat, and it is so good. What if they serve nurse shark in restaurants? Yeah. You could or probably hospitals. get it anywhere in the Keys. They should serve them in hospitals, right? Hey, uh, get your sister to serve it down at the restaurant. <laughs> nurse shark. I only catch one hey, a that year. Bring, that bring in customers there. Yeah, hey, we, sell, we serve nurse shark. Yeah, yeah. but she, her, her forte is more like subs and coffees and stuff like that. Oh, that, yeah, that. 
domestic stuff. Yeah. I mean, well, we do have a new bistro here in DeSoto County. Yeah. This isn't well, a commercial for it, but it's just as a public <laughs> notice, public awareness uh-huh. uh, mention of it. Make me aware of uh-huh. it. It is called Sunny Day Sunny Bistro. Day. Sunny Bistro. Day Bistro down south on 17, where you turn to go into Sunny Breeze yeah. off of Highway 17. and Just before the Walmart distribution. So That's right. I have Nerf Shark. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, I don't know about that. It belongs, right. to, belongs to Jared's sister, Jillian Beals. Yeah. And okay. I ate there last week, and it was mighty fun. Hey, so. I saw you. I saw uh, Mr. Jared working there. Yeah, I was he helping was. her out. Help, sure yeah. Had half the family in there working just about. Yes, yeah. we're just we're just getting it down pat. It's a really cool yeah. place, though. It takes a while to work all you the You know what? Out. I think you got a good location there. Yes. Sure. Yes. At first look, you would think it's in the middle of nowhere. Yep. But you don't realize there's a whole community of people that mm-hmm. live there. And a golf Atari's. course and a boat ramp. Right. And you got four dog nights that want to eat got there. And 3,000 workers at the Walmart plant down there or something. Mm-hmm. I just took a That's guess. That's right. They want to get coffee on the way home or something. Yeah. Yeah, that That's place is That's a good location. Packed. Anyway, it's very nice, very clean. If you haven't been there, go check it out. Yeah. Tell them the Coon Prairie Rambler sent you. That'll be, that and $5 might get you a cup of coffee. Yeah. That was a public <laughs> announcement. <laughs> public service announcement. That's right. PSA for the day. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So you don't <laughs> like fishing or don't fish? Me? Yeah. I don't fish. I don't fish. Why? I'm not a fisherman. I I think it's... Do you I, go, I, don't want to, I don't want to insult you, but I always thought it was the most boring thing in the world to do. If you like doing it, it's an exciting sport. Yeah. It really is. No, I mean, Actually, I do. I, I enjoy watching people fish. Fish or catch things? Uh, you know, whatever they do. There's a difference between fishing. Because there's catching and fishing. You go fishing or go catching. I enjoy Big just, difference. The, you know, like golf. I play golf. Uh, I'm an avid golfer. I what? Do, I get out there once every 10 years. I was going to say, I never and, heard that. And, wow. Uh, he but I golfer. enjoy, I don't really so much enjoy playing golf. I just enjoy being able to walk around with the guys, you know. There you go. So you should be a caddy. Watch me hit. Or, uh, you, should be watch the, you. you should be the caddy. Well, I could. Nine drive. I'm a caddy. No, That's I want right. to be the guy that drives the, the cart, <laughs> the, ca- the cart caddy driver. Oh, the, the chauffeur. Yeah, the chauffeur. So you got a lead foot. Well, yeah. no, no, I, I, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm much older now. You know, we got to do the wheelies while they're trying to putt up there on yeah. the green. Yeah, get it, get it sideways on two wheels. <laughs> That's right. See well, how long you can ride it. Too many YouTubes. <laughs> <laughs> get it out, get, get out there in the sand trap, be spinning yeah. around trying to get out. <laughs> yeah, well, that that should that sounds like a sport in its own. Could be. You know, it's not, you have golf, and then you have sand trap driving. Yeah, that's actually called a... Uh, sports. It's called it's mud called, It's a short course racing. <laughs> yeah. They actually have that. It's really? Big, yeah. bad-to-the-bone trucks that just race around in sand. Okay. <laughs> That'd be wild. Yeah. We, your, we never did get to our subject, but... We, we fishing. Played, we were, fishing. Well, we're still talking about fishing. Yeah, we're still talking about fishing. Yeah. Do you Somewhere fish often? I fish as much as I can. I haven't in a while, though. Your family has boats and stuff? Yes. Very cool. We love to fish hmm. a yeah. lot. Everybody, the whole family goes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Except for... Well, like I well, said. Dad likes fishing, but he also likes not fishing well, equally. That's how I am. I like not fishing. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's great to not fish, and it's also great to fish. Yeah. He likes it, but I don't think he'd like, he like... He doesn't want to... Go out and do it every weekend. Yeah, I don't love which to go I would for the ride. Love to do, but um, it's just the the sitting there and watching that barber. You know, I'm thinking, come on, bite the thing. Yeah, it might be time to freshen up your bait. Oh, yeah. when it comes, yeah. you were asking about like what's a walk the dog and what's a sinker uh-huh. and all that stuff. I thought that's what you did with the yo yo walk the dog. Pretty close, but a walk the dog is it's a top water lure. That mm-hmm. every time you pull it, you kind of kind of jig it when you're reeling it in, and it goes to the left, and then it goes right, left, right, left, right. Which no, attracts the fish. All that it movement. I think it's a frog it. up there. It's like little 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 nudges, like you're pulling it back oh. like three or four inches, like just little uh-huh. jerks, and that yeah. makes it go left, right. And the fish thinks something's swimming That's up there. That's how I walk yeah. my dog at home. Mm-hmm. I, I jerk him all over the place because he's exactly. jerking me. There you go. He's jigging me. <laughs> he's, he's walking the he's walking the mail. You're walking the dog, and he's walking the mail. Yeah. There you go. Well, speaking of walking, we don't have to walk on out of here now. That's on to segment three. So y'all sit tight, and everything gonna be all right.